can I safely or can I safely state that breaking news? Uh, MK party members who were expelled by MK party, remember that they took that matter to court. Guess what? It has been confirmed that they have lost their case in court. Did you hear me uh, correctly? Yes. Um, MK party, after that, they have released a statement. It is the statement, it is that statement that I'm about to read. Two of those letters were to the 6th and 9th respondents. That was the 23rd of June. Their membership was terminated. And a day afterwards, uh, 12 others were also terminated. And the grounds for that, milady, are also set out in the answering affidavit as to why their membership was terminated. Uh, I've also set that out in heads of argument. That appears from paragraph 6. And I'll mention some of them. It was because the names that had been added to the candidate list were either improperly or irregularly included, and the submission of names was made without proper consultation and vetting. There was a mishandling of the party list by the person who was responsible for that, uh, and that was the previously acting Secretary General. Upon realizing this, that there was a mishandling of the party list, milady. Um, he was then replaced with Ms. Dongubani. And that is how they discovered with internal investigations that there were a number of persons who, who weren't supposed to have been on the, uh, uh, the party list to begin with. And the rest of those persons are the applicants to this application. For you now. In a statement released by Umkonto Wesizwe Party uh, on the 9th of September 2022, by the way, they released two statements, so I will be taking you to look into those two statements, right? Statement on the dismissed court application by the 10 uh, recalcitrant uh, hey, litigants. The Umkonto Wesizwe Party welcomes the judgment handed down by the Western court division of the high court regarding the court application by former members of parliament which is dismissed with cost so here guys uh just to give you a bit of a summary what i'm getting here is or oh, what i've heard is that those two those 10 members or more they were heavily affiliated with a man called uh chablan kumalo uh, there were his allies. I don't know. That's an allegation that is out there. They have not yet cleared that allegation, but it has been said that those guys, uh, they were, they were, they were a close associate of the man, right? So from what I've heard, they found out to go to. Oh, these are the close allies. These are the close allies of the man, and then they're like, let's clean up this whole thing, right? Because they rep they don't represent us. They represent. Uh, an opposition while working with us. But again, in a second paragraph, it has been said the Umkonto Wesis were never, inten look, never intended for this eternal, look, internal matter to be, uh, look, to, to be enter the, look, the public arena as the um, discharged members were formally informed not to proceed to, not to proceed to be sown in as members of Umkonto Wesis or members of parliament. They proceeded with, look, with their uh, swearing in and were subsequently informed by the party that their, their presence in parliament will be temporary. It was, eh, it was not enough for this uh, hey, that English name, litigant, to drag the party to court, which led the party to incur unnecessary cost or oh, uh, yeah, in care unnecessary cost in relation to the look the, the charging of office uh, in office look looks key and uh, even hotel accommodation for new members who could not access the accommodation um, if uh, who could not access the accommodation uh, okay the words are very short let's yeah yeah. In Parliament Village, the MK Party was further negatively impacted in Parliament um, in voting mem members due to this act of ill discipline by this uh, pedicious individual. Okay. Um. 
Personally, I, 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 I never thought that they would win anything. I mean, come on, guys. Like, uh, they were, uh, for me, I've never seen a prospect of them winning a case. Remember, whoa, whoa, whoa. before I say remember, please, you know what? Do this. If you are not yet subscribed, what are you waiting for? Come on, good people. Because to subscribe, it is free. To like the video, it is free. To comment in the comment section below, it is free of charge. To click the notification bell, it is free of charge. To share this video, it is free of charge. To watch this video until the end, it is free of charge. Also, good people, I mean, come on, to watch the ads, it's free of charge. And that's how you financially contribute to this YouTube channel. Speaking about financial contribution to the channel, you can join, become a member of this YouTube channel from as little as 20 rand a month. You can also uh, use the super thanks party. In case you don't want to do that, guys, there is a way where you can use my media company banking details to donate to the channel. And you know what I'm saying? We'll bring you more. And also guys wanna buy more equipment so the power is in your hands please do the honorable thing as we proceed now you will remember again uguti uh when for instance if you join an eff the me your membership is given by eff that means eff has got to say uh, look has got to say to you as to how to behave and when and how right um so it is with ANC and any political party. There was no exception with MK party. Your membership is given by MK party. So you just cannot do as you please. You can't tell them not to fire you. Right? There's no such a thing in this world. But again, let's proceed. As we proceed, court's penitive order only reaffirm our initial position that this matter should have been dealt and disband with, inten look, with internal as as this has brought, look, has brought the organization into disrepute. All due procedure was followed in uh, expediting the matter and we have been vindicated. The court cannot be subjected to a flavorious application by wounded party members who failed not only to comprehend but also adhere to the party line. The continued uh egregious effort of individuals who place their personal agenda ahead of the organization and revolution will be thoroughly met with decisive actions as no one is bigger than the organization that's a clear statement uh, the, the, local, the way i'm reading it it just says even to future people just know that you will be dealt you look we will dealt with you appropriately but i mean i just i don't know i didn't understand this application at all because come to think of it yeah you're, you're a member of mk party if mk party says we don't want you as a member you you must just accept because it's not your pol own political party the last part uh, on the statement says as um conto we says a party we can do local party continues to work together to our mission to hold the executive accountable as the official opposition party, uh, official official opposition in parliament, and work to implement look, implement people's mandate. We shall continue to lead and unify black parties on the progressive caucus under the common fundamental principle and minimum program of actions to ensure true liberation of our people. Okay. MK Party Youth League released their statement. I thought it was opening. It's not that big. Media statement on the 9th of September 2024. MK Party Youth League welcomes the we the the we Western Western Cape High Court judgment on removed former members of Parliament. The Um Contiwasiso Party Youth League note and truly welcome the judgment handed down by the Western High Court dismissing the application by disgruntled former members of parliament and challenging their removal from the National Assembly. Let this be a lesson to all those who bring the party into disrepute and put their own uh, interests and agendas before those of the, those of the organization. It is totally unbecoming and 
tremendously uncouth the, that these members had the ten look had uh, had the timidity to approach a, a court being aware of the party resolution before they were sewn in is a look in as members of parliament to be clear we as mk party youth league we stand firmly behind the party and continue to call our leadership to deal with these uh, feeble-minded individuals and their supporters decisively let us all focus our effort on achieving our generational mission of economic freedom of our lifetime aluta continua did you hear that uh i just want to state that for me Jay, like i said i think when all have been said and done i just did not know and see how they are going to win this one if ever there was a case that they if ever there was a case that i never thought they would win it is this one i was somehow more confident that mk party will come out victorious on this one because there's absolutely no reason whatsoever for them to do what they did. Nothing. No reason whatsoever. But let me leave it here for today uh, with the hope that we shall see each other soon. Till such a time, good people, please take care.